This book is called Seven Little Postmen. And it's written by Margaret Wise Brown. <clears throat> a boy had a secret. It was a surprise. He wanted to tell his grandmother, so he sent his secret through the mail. The story of that letter is the reason for this tale of the seven little postmen who carried the mail. What's so important about them being little? I mean, eh, okay. Because there was a secret in the letter, the boys sealed it with red sealing wax. If anyone broke the seal, the secret would be out. He slipped the letter into the mailbox. The first little postman took it from the box, put it in his bag, and walked 17 blocks to the big post office, all built of rocks. Hmm, interesting. The letter with the secret was dumped on a table with big and small letters that all needed the label of the big post office. Stamp, stamp, clickety-clack, the machinery ran with a quick, sharp tick. The letter with the secret was is stamped at last, and the round black circle tells that it passed through the canceling machine. Click whiz fast. Big letters, small letters, the thin and tall, the second little postman sorts them all. The letters are sorted from east to west, from north to south. And this letter had best go west, said the postman, uh, said the second little postman, scratching his chest. Into the pouch, locked it tight, the secret letter must travel all night. The third little postman in the big mail car can't comes to a crossroad where, wa uh, where waiting are a green, a yellow, and a purple car. They all stop there. There is nothing to say. The mail truck has the right of way. The mail must go through. Up and away through sleet and hail, this airplane carries the fastest mail. The pilot flies through whirling snow as far and as fast as a plane can go. The mail is landed in the evening for the evening train. Now hang the pouch on a big hook crane. The engine speeds up the shining rails, and the forced little postman grabs the mail with a giant hook. The train roars on with a puff and a snort, and the fourth little postman brings, begins to sort. The train carries the letter through gloom of night in a mail car filled with electric light. To the country postman by a country road where the fifth little postman is waiting for his load. The mail clerk heaves the mail pouch with all his might to the fifth little postman who grabs it tight. Then off he goes along the lane and over the hill until he comes to a little town that is very small. So very small, the post office there is hardly one at all. The sixth little postman in great big boots sorts the letters for their various routes. Down the river, over the hill, but the secret letter goes farther still. The seventh little postman on RFD carries letters and papers, chickens and fruits to the people who live along his roots. His route, excuse me. He stops to deliver some sugar to Mr. Jones, who keeps a store and always seems to need uh, to need something more. This is kind of like Amazon Prime. Uh, for Mrs. O'Finnegan, with her, with all her ills, he brings a bottle of bright pink pills. There was a funny postcard for a little boy playing in his own backyard. There was something for Sally and something for Sam and something for Mrs. Potter, who is busy making jam. There were dozens of chickens for Mrs. Pickens and a dress for a party for Mrs. McCarty. At the last house along the way sat the grandmother of the boy who sent the letter with the secret in it. She had been wishing all day he would come to visit, for she lived all alone in a tiny house and sometimes felt quite lonely. The postman blew his whistle and gave her the letter with the red sealing wax, the secret letter. Six 
alive, what is it about? Sakes alive, the secret is out. What did it say? Dear Granny, I have written to say, we want to discuss with you, talk to you about your car's extended warranty. No, 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 it doesn't say that. That I am coming to visit on Saturday. My cat has seven kittens and I am bringing one to you for your very own kitten. The postman is my friend. Your grandson, Thomas. And we have a, we have a thing at the end here. Seven little postmen. Seven little postmen carried the mail through rain and snow and wind and hail, through snow and rain and gloom of night. Seven little postmen out of sight, over land and sea, through air and light, through snow and rain and gloom of night. Put a stamp on your letter and seal it tight.